Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you for joining me. And on today's video, we are doing a new product review from a company that I reviewed last year. This is the Furry Hippie Beard Company I reviewed in April of 2020. So it was just about a year ago. Uh, at that time, they just had oils uh, and they had four or five cents. And then since then, they have added in the butters and now they've added in the bombs. So go back and check out that video from a year ago, see how far my setups come. Uh, but you can also get a, uh, my take on the scents. I've tried all of their scents except for one. So I'm not sure if you are a balm guy or not. It probably kind of depends on where you're at on your beard journey and the length that you are at. So tends to be shorter lengths, balm, uh, comes in more handy as far as the hold goes and then once it gets a little bit longer you tend to get away from the the heavier beeswax um, products and go into lighter butters and oils mostly and just kind of in general but it's been probably a year since I've used um, balms on a regular basis. So I, uh, Jason, the owner, sent me out a couple here. I got the unscented and then the old man's money. We'll talk about the scents in just a little bit. The, the hold is straight down the middle medium. All right. So it's not um, it's not overly heavy and waxy and it's not really, really super soft like a butter. I just put some on so you can tell it does a it does a great job of what a balm is supposed to do. It's also, uh, to me, surprisingly nourishing and um, almost like a butter, like in the fact that you get lots of nourishment. And I experimented around with it. You guys know me. I like kind of playing around with some things and experiment and see what really works for me. Um, I tried this a couple of times, like in the evening. In fact, I just put some on. It's, it's after supper time. But uh, I put it on in the evening a couple of times. I was surprised that my beard felt softer almost immediately. Uh, obviously, it still works for the flyaways, as you can see right now. And uh, this one is the old man's money. It's easy to get out. It's creamy. It's um, uh, not, um, not gritty or anything like that. All right, this is one of my favorite scents. I think you saw it on, if you watch my um, favorite scents of 2020 video. This is Old Man's Money, and it is super good. It is a buttery bourbon kind of scent. Um, let me read it here to you. So it is uh, aged scotch whiskey with hints of bergamot, vanilla, and cedar wood. It is really, really good. It's rich, a little bit sweet, and buttery. It's a, if you like those kind of scents, it's got just a little bit of spice on it, but it's not, not earthy or anything like that. Uh, you don't get heavy cedar wood or anything like that. Really do uh, like this scent and suggest that you should try it if you like kind of those bourbon uh, rich kind of scents. So that's Old Man's Money. I also have the uh, the natural, which I wear a lot, so I can wear it with other other oils. Uh, like I said, it worked wonderfully for me. Does a great job, and it's surprisingly conditioning. All right. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the website a little bit here. So let me go back to this one. So here's the owner, Jason. Um, he's been around a while. Um, he hasn't really advertised tons and tons in the online bearded community. I know he sets up at shows and, and those kind of things a lot. So well worth giving a try. The website looks great. Everything's easy to navigate. Uh, the oils or the butters or the balms are uh, pretty much $16.99 across the board. All right. I do have a, a discount code for uh, for hippie is banjos 10 so you can use that to try stuff out uh, and go back and watch that first video i did you can get a little more take on some of these scents a really good coffee and peppermint scent um, and then the hippie mojo that's got your um, patchouli and a little bit of incense but it's a little smoother it's not super earthy the only one of these i have not tried is the twig and berries which is an evergreen and some sort of berry i have the um uh the natural, the Groovy Grove is more of an orange uh, scent, kind of like an orange citrus kind of hand soap kind of idea. And then, as I told you, my favorite there is the Old Man's Money. Uh, by the way, a portion of all uh, 
sales are uh, donated to the Isaiah 4110 Foundation for um, Childhood Cancer. Uh, Jason's brother uh, passed away when he was young from uh, cancer there. So you've got small portion going back to that, which is a good cause. Uh, let's talk about the ingredients uh, quickly here. I'll tell you what, let's do one of the oils just so you'll know. So the oils is got uh, jojoba, argan, sweet almond oil, pumpkin seed, and then your fragrance. And I do think these are all fragrance oils and not essential oils. And then the butter ingredients, you've got shea, mango, hemp seed, lipe nut butter, and then it does have a little bit of beeswax in it. Jojoba, argan, sweet almond, pumpkin seed, and fragrance. And so by the way, I did feature Furry Hippies at that time. It was a brand new butter during my beer butter showdown series, if you took a look at that. So you can kind of compare the ingredients and the feel in beard and the smell and everything else. So you can go back and check that out. And they, they they held up very well compared to the other 12 entries that we did during that beard butter showdown. And then for the balm, I think it's missing the Alipe nut butter, but it's got all the rest of the stuff in it. So shea, local beeswax, mango, uh, hemp seed butter, jojoba, argan, sweet almond, pumpkin seed, and fragrance. Okay. So I don't see any special price for combos. That would be something I would suggest uh, to the owner that he could uh, possibly get some more sales there. If you do like a combo, you get a dollar off. If you get a oil butter or oil balm uh, but the prices are not bad once again you can save with the banjos 10 great beard balm uh, let me know if you're a beard balm uh, fan or not. You still using beard balms in 2021? Um, maybe once you get finished wearing masks all over the place, you might can uh, use some more um, more balms. But like I said, this is a great balm straight down the middle. Medium, does its job, um, and also very conditioning. In fact, for me, surprisingly conditioning. All right. So check out the Fur Furry Hippie Beard Company. Use that code BANJOS10. Uh, and tell the owner that I sent you. And check out that old man's money once again one of my favorite scents that i've tried recently and i've never smelled anything like that anywhere um so i think it's very unique and i do think a lot of you guys would dig it but anyway as i as always i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next video